What's up everyone, my name is Danny. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. And if this is the first time you visit us, welcome to the channel where we help you learn about your finances to help you take control of your lives and achieve your financial freedom. And in this video, we're gonna talk about three reasons why you should absolutely avoid City's Diamond Preferred credit card. So if you are thinking of applying for City's Diamond Preferred credit card, watch this video to the very end. And if it provides any value whatsoever, do me a solid and destroy that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. But let's dive straight into the video, you guys. So the very first reason why I believe you should actually avoid this credit card is the lack of a welcome bonus. See, with City's Diamond Preferred credit card, the only introductory offer that you're going to get is 15 months interest-free on whatever balance that you carry on that credit card. And what this really means is that for the first 15 months of you owning that credit card, your APR is going to be zero. So you're not going to pay any interest whatsoever on whatever balance you carry on that card. And sorry, it's actually 18 months. So 18 months, which actually makes this one of the largest offers when it comes to zero APR for an introductory offer. But let's be real, you guys. This is not something new. It's not innovative. In fact, the majority of credit cards actually offer anywhere from 12 to 15 months of zero APR anyways. Now, while those 18 months of zero APR may sound nice, honestly, you're not really going to benefit from this unless you're planning on making a large purchase that you know that you can't pay off in full in a single month. So if you are planning on making a larger purchase, I guess those 18 months of zero APR will be nice. But remember, most credit cards will offer you anywhere from 12 months to 15 months free anyways. Oh, and by the way, one thing that you really need to keep in mind though, even though you are gonna have the first 18 months with zero APR, if you do decide to transfer a balance from one credit card to another credit card, you're either gonna have to pay a $5 transfer fee or 3% on the amount that you actually transferred, whichever is greater. Let's say that you're planning on transferring, let's say, I don't know, $5,000. Well, if you do decide to transfer $5,000, you're gonna be hit with a $150 charge. Just keep that in mind. So when it comes to this, with the lack of a welcome bonus, honestly, this is a big, big, big issue for me. Especially now where welcome bonuses are becoming more and more and more competitive, the lack of a welcome bonus for this case is just a deal breaker for me. Honestly, you're much better getting off something like Chase Freedom Unlimited, where you'll still pay zero annual fees the same way you would with the city card, but you'll get a $200 welcome bonus. Now, the second reason why you should actually avoid this credit card and it's another major deal breaker for me is the fact that, well, there's absolutely no rewards with this credit card. And I mean, literally, there is no rewards for this credit card, not one whatsoever. I mean, in an age where you see so many cashback credit cards, credit cards that will give you bonus points for travel, whatever it may be, giving a credit card with the name preferred that actually has no perks whatsoever is just it just makes no sense to me. Honestly, you guys, this is a major deal. I don't know why anyone would use this type of credit card when there are so many credit cards out there that gives you so many rewards just for using them. I mean, even with one of my favorite credit cards that just so happens to be with Cities, and that's gonna be Cities Double Cash Credit Card, well, you get 2% cash back on every purchase that you make. And these aren't top tier credit cards either. These aren't paid credit cards because obviously I could sit here and talk about my Amex gold card, right? I get so many perks there, but you have a $95 annual fee with that. Let's stay with purely free credit cards. There are so many credit cards out there. They'll give you so many perks. And then this credit card just sits there and gives you nothing. Look, you guys, if you enjoy getting cash back or getting points for your travel, for your dining or whatever it may be, well, this is not the card for you. Honestly, if this is you, if this is your situation, you're going to be much better off simply not using this credit card. There are a wider range of credit cards out there. They'll give you so many rewards just for using them. And if this is you, stay tuned because later on throughout the week, I am going to upload a video giving you what are the five best credit cards that you can get throughout 2021. I'm going to upload that video in a few days, but let me know down below in the comments, what are your favorite credit cards? What are your preferred credit cards to use for your everyday spending? And the third and absolute worst reason why, and honestly, it pains me to actually give this reason after being a client with city for over four years but that's going to be their horrible customer service over the past four years i never really had issues with city's customer service until the time came where i actually had to call city's customer service you see up to that point things were actually going pretty good i was getting automatic credit raises my cash back was pretty nice i wasn't seeing any problems yet now the problems came when i actually decided to apply for this credit card when I actually applied for this credit card, the sole reason why I applied for this credit card is even though there's a lack of any perks, any welcome bonuses whatsoever, 
apparently this card actually has a pretty high initial credit limit and honestly it wasn't even that good i was initially approved with around four thousand dollars as my initial credit limit and while that's not bad i've had better credit limits with other credit cards in the past so so i filled out the application got instantly approved with that balance and i'm like well it's not what i wanted but okay then right well here's the problem a week goes by two weeks go by three weeks go by and by this point i'm thinking hmm why haven't i received my credit card yet now after almost three weeks go by i'm saying you know what something's going on here i need to call city's customer service and see what's going on with my credit card so i call them i'm asking you know um where's my credit card and honestly they didn't really have an answer for me they had no idea where my credit card was if it was shipped out or what was going on from here they decide to actually reship the credit card because well they have no idea what happened to the first shipment right so they reship the credit card and i say okay then how long should it take for me to receive this credit card and they say well about seven to ten business days and guess what happens you guys a week goes by and guess what yeah no credit card and then another week goes by and yeah no credit card third week goes by and yeah you guessed it by now i'm like okay honestly it's been six weeks now three weeks i make a phone call then another three weeks what's going on i call them again to try to resolve the issue again and now apparently they're saying that i call to actually cancel that account at this point i'm just sitting here like when did i call to cancel this credit card Long story short, what they offered me to do was actually go ahead and submit a request for me to reopen that account without having to do any hard inquiries or affect my credit score whatsoever since I never received a physical copy of that credit card. I don't want to keep on boring you guys, so long story short, I do receive a letter in the mail actually rejecting my request to reopen this account. When I called them up, what they say was, you know what, I'm sorry, we're unable to do anything for your account. Pretty much what they told me was if I wanted to open that account again, I'm going to have to do the entire process again, meaning doing another hard inquiry affecting my credit score just to see if I get approved again for a credit card that I don't really want anymore. Look, you guys, you had no idea how confusing and annoying this entire process was, especially considering that I have nine other credit cards, nine other credit cards that I've never had any issue remotely close to this before. Long story short, you guys, if you were thinking of applying for City's preferred diamond card or diamond preferred card, whatever it's called, honestly, stay away from this credit card, you guys. There are much better credit cards out there that are absolutely free, require no annual fees, and are going to give you so many perks in the forms of welcome bonuses and rewards. But luckily, as a whole, Citibank isn't that horrible. They do have pretty good services and pretty good products like this product right here so once you're done watching this video make sure you watch this video right here and if this video provided any value whatsoever make sure you destroy that like button down below for the youtube algorithm and if you haven't already done so find that subscribe and that notification bell that way youtube would alert you every time i do upload a brand new video but anyways you guys thank you so much till next time